Hey guys, in this project we're going to be building a PHP blog called PHP Lovers Blog, which is basically um, just a, a simple newsreel of PHP releases, um, conferences, events, things like that. And it, I created this simple logo. Uh, this layout is actually a bootstrap template that I customized. So um, we're going to be implementing bootstrap. Uh, very simple though, basically just using a template and just changing up the colors, uh, things like that. All right, so basically it'll store posts and categories inside of a MySQL database. Um, we'll have the, those will be the two tables, posts and categories. Uh, the posts will have a title, a date, a formatted date, uh, an author, and of course the, the content, all right. Um, over here we have just a simple blurb uh, which is just an about text and then we have the list of categories which are being pulled from the database uh, and if we click on a category um, up here you can see that we have the get variable category um, set to whatever the ID is and then it'll only show posts from that category alright so if we click on design we don't have any posts in design, so it's just going to give us a, a no post message. All right, and if we click on a post, it'll take us to that page. Uh, very, very simple. Um, and also, we're going to have an admin section. All right, so if we go to admin, um, we're not going to implement a user login and registration with this project, uh, only because it, it takes up um, too much time. Uh, we will be using, we will create a registration um, with our next project, which will be a forum. Um, and I, I mean, I just wanted to use that, use the whole registration thing in one project because otherwise every project um, that would take up a, 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 a large amount of time to implement that in every project. So basically we just go to this URL uh, slash admin and we have our list of posts and categories uh, we can click add post alright we can create a post we can select the category um, put in the author tags if we want uh, we can also of course add a category um, and then here we can actually click on the post and we can edit the content of the post and save it and we can also delete it all right, so basic CRUD operations. All right, cr create, read, update, and delete. All right, and then we have this visit blog, which just takes us to the front end. All right, so that's what we'll be building in this chapter. Um, like I always do, we're going to create the user interface first. Um, well, actually, first we'll create the database and then the interface, and then move on to the um, PHP files. Now this project, uh, the file structure will be a little different. It's going to be more organized than, than our first and second project. Uh, we will be using more object-oriented programming, um, although the next project will, will, be, um, will have a, a significantly more uh, object-oriented functionality. All right, so let's get to it. I'm going to close this out. And this page here, this uh, lipsum.com, is basically just dummy content that I'm going to use for the blog, uh, for the posts. Uh, so what I want to do first is the user interface. So I'm going to go to the htdocs folder and rename the finished blog to done. And then we create can create our own folder to work in. All right, so we're going to create the structure, and it's it's uh, a bit more organized than what we've been doing. All right, so I'm going to create a folder called Libraries, and from now on, from here and the pro next projects to come, uh, we'll be using more and more object-oriented programming. So we'll have more and more classes um, that we'll be using. All right, so we can create objects that belong to classes. And um, this particular project, we're going to have a database class. All right, so I'm going to go in there and 
I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to call this database.php. And what this is going to be our own class. We're going to actually um, create it from scratch. And it's just going to allow us to run queries, to run select queries, um, select multiple table queries, inserts, updates, um, things like that. And it's going to be really simple and it's not going to be too, um, it's not something you'd want to use on a big production site. Um, you'd probably want to use something like PDO and prepared statements uh, like we will in the next chapter, uh, in the next project. Uh, but I just want to get you familiar with um, using classes and, and object oriented programming. All right, so what else do we want here? We want to have um, obviously our template folders, which will be the CSS folder. And we're just going to put these, these right in the root for now uh, for this project. In the next project, we'll actually create a template class and we'll have um, basically a template folder that'll hold this stuff. Um, but for this project, we're just going to put it all right in the root. Um, we want a fonts folder for the bootstrap template. Um, we're going to have a helpers folder, which is just going to be random functions that do that can basically do things like format dates, things like that. Uh, we'll have an images folder and let's see what else we want a JavaScript folder we're not going to really do any JavaScript it's basically just for the bootstrap JavaScript template uh, we're going to have an, inc an includes folder which is going to have things like our header file our header and footer um, so that we don't have to add all that code into every single view file um, so we'll just have one header and footer that will include all right so that's actually we want to create one more folder called admin and that's going to hold the files that allow us to add a new post things like that edit posts um, all right and we're going to create also a, a config folder which is going to hold just one configuration file where we can just specify um, certain configurations. All right, we'll have an index file, which obviously is going to be our entry point. Uh, and it'll have all the latest posts. Uh, and we're going to have uh, a posts.php file. And that's going to be the main, not the main index page, but the post page. And we can, we'll be able to filter through uh, by category as well. So it'll show um, if we select the design category, it'll only show posts that are in that in the design category. All right, and then finally, we want uh, post.php, which is going to represent just a single post. Um, so it'll be pretty simple file so these files will will be our output files okay so this is what the user will actually see um, like I said in the next project will have a template class and we'll be able to put all our templates into one folder um, but for this project I want to gradually get to that point because it's a little more complicated alright so the quiz uh, obviously the first project um, everything was right in the file, all the queries, everything. Um, and then in the second project, uh, the quiz project, we kind of just had a bunch of, we had a database file, um, everything was in the root directory. Now we're getting a little bit more structure um, using, our, we'll be using a class, a database class. Uh, and then from here on, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll gradually work up to um, uh, an advanced PHP application. So let's go ahead and create the rest of the files. Uh, the admin folder is going to have quite a few. Uh, it's actually going to have its own includes because it's going to have a different header and footer than our, our front end app. All right, yeah, and inside there we'll just create a couple files. Okay, we want header.php.
footer.php. Oh. All right, and we'll have a couple files here. We're going to have add category. Posts. Um, edits category. Edit post. And of course, our index. Alright, so that's it for the admin. Uh, we already have our libraries, um, our database file. Classes uh, by convention should have a, a, um, an uppercase letter to start with. All right? It's not mandatory, but uh, it's a very common convention and it's just something that I've always done. Config, we're going to have one file in here called config.php. Uh, CSS we're gonna create actually we're gonna do that when we get the bootstrap template we'll put in those files same thing with fonts helpers um, we're gonna have a formatting helper okay so I'm gonna create a file called uh, format underscore helper helper.php Um, and let's see, includes, we need a header and footer, I'm just going to copy these here that we did in the admin section. Okay, JavaScript will leave. Alright, so that's good, that's uh, our structure for now. In the next video we will create our UI. Like I said, we're going to use a bootstrap template and we're going to just customize it a little bit.